Hey guys, it's Savannah. I've had a lot of people ask me questions about the horses that I post in my videos because sometimes the horses that I post in my YouTube are different than the horses that I post on my uh, Instagram. And so I figured I would do a little updated meet my horses video because I have more now and I think I did one like a year ago. So <laughs> it's a new year. More horses, it's fine, it's fine. Just wanted to introduce you guys to my girl squad. And yes, my girl squad is all girls. So the first and the newest member of the girl squad, which I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with, is Navi. Navi is a 2018 Oldenburg filly that I purchased in utero um, probably like almost two years ago. I purchased her pretty early in utero and she is now at the farm with me. And there's like a whole like playlist just about Navi. <laughs> so if you're a new subscriber or you missed some of her videos because I post videos along her lifetime now, <laughs> Be sure to check out the playlist because it goes all the way from me announcing that I'm buying a horse in utero to her being like, now, basically. And I update it at least once a month, so you get to kind of see a bi-monthly thing. Anyways, besides the playlist. Um, like I said, Navi's a 2018 Oldenburg filly. She is by Sagnall, who's by Sandro Hit, which if you don't know who Sandro Hit is, he's like one of the best stallions, one of the best stallion producers in dressage. And she's out of a mare that is a Hanoverian mare by Waldorf, which was a jumper stallion that was in Europe somewhere. That's all I can tell you for that. But <laughs> anyways, Navi should mature around 16.2 to 17 hands. She has a pretty large sire and dam, and that was not by accident. I'm a very tall rider, so I wanted a tall horse. Another name you may hear me call Navi in the future is Nob. Right now she's got the knobbiest knees, so I'm just calling her the Nob a lot because she just looks so disproportionate and knobby. If you don't recognize the name Navi, I actually named her after my favorite childhood video game, uh, which is The Legend of Zelda. He has a little fairy that follows him around named Navi. That says hey listen all the time um her registered name is also zelda inspired it's spirited tracks uh that is a ds game in the zelda series so if you're a ds player yeah highly suggest getting the spirited tracks i bought navi as a replacement for my dressage horse i have now because she's getting older and I wanted a nice quality horse, and so the cheapest way to do that, obviously, is to buy in utero. So that's what I did. She's going to be my first foal that I am basically going to raise, and she's going to be my first one that I'm going to start classically, like classical dressage under saddle. When we took her to breed inspection, she got premium foal and premium filly at the breed inspection. She's a meet you at the gate kind of girl. She's super personable. She's always wanting to be near somebody. She follows me around everywhere when I'm in the pasture. She's always the first one at the gate. She'll run up to you and say hey. She's extremely curious. She always has her mouth on absolutely everything. Um, she's really, really brave because she's so curious. And when she does find things that frighten her, she doesn't immediately run away. She kind of looks about, looks at it and thinks about it and she might be a little bit worried but she never just straight up runs away. She likes to look and think about things which I really, really like about her and it's very different. I'm not used to that and so it's definitely going to be a super fun little journey for the both of us growing together because I'm not used to that and this will be my first baby to start from day one and Sorry, Navi, you get to be my sacrificial lamb. All right, the next member, number two member, I'm going from youngest to oldest, by the way. Number two member of the Girl Squad is Tombstone. A lot of you may not know Tombstone. I've made like one or two videos with her in it. She is my snuggle bunny. I love her so much. 
and she's not really my horse she's actually Carson's horse but since she's Carson's horse she's like my horse so she's like an adopted horse my horse is like they're his and I treat his horses like they're mine or they're she's my horse she's mine. Carson thinks she's his but she's mine she's my snuggle bunny um Tombstone's registered name is Artie Snippo Checks she is by Big Checks to Cash out of Little Lady Commander. She's a reigning cow horse bred. And Carson actually bought her as his next up and coming roping horse around two, coming three. She was almost three year old when we went and got her. She, funny story, we actually got her. I was showing at a facility um, somewhat close, not very close from here. Kind of close, but not close from here and they started hosting dressage shows and since it was a little bit closer than other venues I decided to go and try and show there and the guy who owned the venue actually was getting out of reining horses and wanted to get into jumpers and dressage horses so he had a ton of reining stock for sale and a lot of reiners can work intertwinely as roping horses or cow horses because they're bred really cowy so that's how we ended up with tombstone and so she is such a delight. I call her my snuggle bunny. So, uh, also, I call her my cream puff. Carson bought her as an unstarted two-year-old. So he actually started her under saddle and got her riding the walk trot lope really easy. We ended up sending her off to a trainer to get trained for roping since we're so busy with school. Don't really have the proper time to really invest into a roping horse and even keep the stock that you need to rope and train with so we decided it was easier just to send her off to be trained instead she loves slash tolerates having her face snuggled that's why i love her so much is you can hug her and snuggle her and love her all day and she just sits there she's a true girl because she loves our glam time once every few weeks she's got a really long mane so I'll unbraid it and I'll rebraid it and once every few weeks we have to scrub it down and she just sits there and she falls asleep in the cross ties and she just closes her eyes and I just massage her mane and it's like a real girl bonding time uh, ugly Betty most of you know who ugly Betty is ugly Betty is her best friend her BFF she loves Ugly Betty. I wish I had videos of them together when they were turned out together because they would groom each other all day. They would run around with each other all day. So I'm convinced that Tombstone has an old soul because she gets along with Ugly Betty. <laughs> the third horse I want to introduce to you guys is Amarillo. Also, sometimes I call her Rilro. She's a 2004 uh, quarter horse paint. She's pretty darn stinking cute. I mean... Come on, look at her. She's so cute. Uh, she doesn't act like a mare. If you know, you know, there's mares and there's geldings. They act different ways. She, dis she doesn't act like a mare. She's, she's, she's a tomboy, I guess. Um, Carson got her about five years ago to use as a practice horse for roping when he was big into the roping. Uh, she <laughs> is super consistent super super consistent she does tie down she can do breakaway and she's on the heel side in team roping you can go and rope a whole pin of steers on the heel side with her and then you can back into the box and rope a whole pin of calves and she's she makes that transition so easily she never gets hot in the box that's why he loves her so much she's extremely easygoing she does not get excited about anything really there's only one thing i found that that horse is not like and those are clippers she'll straight up run away from you to try and get away from clippers i don't know what happened as you can see she has a roach domain with lots of cookies and positive vibes and encouragement <laughs> she will let me roach her mane but that's just about it she really doesn't like it her favorite treat are blue sharks blue gummy sharks I don't know how I don't know how I figured that out I think we we're at the rope and pen one day and I was eating candy and I was like everyone every horse eat a gummy shark and she was the only one that would eat it and from there on out uh, there goes the gummy sharks I just fed her gummy sharks again this mare is super awesome and super level-headed. She will probably forever be in the barn with us because she's just so nice. She's not anything super fancy, but she gets it done and she's super consistent and she's always taking care of Carson. Carson's literally hauled her all over the country. 
He's been everywhere. He's been all out west. He's, we went to uh, national finals, national high school finals with her. He's qualified for finals with her. He's been to a ton of ropings, been invited to a ton of ropings in Oklahoma and Texas, and he's taken her out there. That's his go-to mare. He loves her so much. She may not be his best mare, but he really, really likes her. The fourth and final member of the girl squad is the one and only Ugly Betty. I know all of you definitely know who Ugly Betty is. She is my main dressage horse. She is a 1998 horse. That's right, my horse is 21 years old. Yeah. Yeah, 21. She's an old girl. Um, she actually came to me named Melanie, but that's not her personality. She has a pretty quirky, schizophrenic personality, I guess you could say. So there goes Ugly Betty. I love her to death though, don't get me wrong. She's ugly as sin, but I love her to death. Um, she's actually polo bred. She was bred for polo up in Nashville by a show jumper, an Olympic show jumper named Melanie Smith. And she didn't make it in the polo world. Can't imagine why. Can't imagine why. She's a psycho. That's why. So, anyways, she didn't like polo. And she did not make it in the polo world. So, she actually was retrained by someone else for a dressage horse. Because she had okay gates for a thoroughbred. And that's when I picked her up. She was confirmed first level when I got her five years ago. And she had no show record, I'm pretty sure, but I like, I didn't need anything more than that because I could do walk track cannon, that's about it. I could barely make a horse go around. She definitely taught me a ton. And from there on out, that's she's the one who really taught me the appreciation for dressage. And from there on out, she, we just kept getting better and growing, I guess. She helped me earn my bronze medal. And even today at 21 years old, we are getting ready to show fourth level this summer, which is super amazing. She's such an amazing horse. I, she, I would not be anywhere where I am today at all if it was not for her. A lot of patience and a lot of persistence and waiting and and tears and blood and sweat has went into that horse and she is definitely worth it. For me, she's worth it. <laughs> so she's definitely not everyone's cup of tea. Um, I learned to live with her because that's all I had at the time. And that's, I think, what makes our relationship so special is because she, I mean, she's all I had. And I know there's tons of people out there that have horses that, they have all these quirks and these weird things they have to work around and I'm one of those people that I was able to keep going, keep pushing and it paid off and I was able to reach one of my goals which is my bronze medal. Fun facts about her, she's extremely quirky which I've already said, she doesn't tie, she's super girthy, um, she didn't cross tie for a long time, she'll cross tie now, uh, she hates the clippers. She used to not load a trailer and finally got her to load the trailer. Her second favorite place in the world is actually in the arena. She's super relaxed. She loves dressage. She loves dressage. And her favorite place, obviously, is the pasture. But she is a completely different horse when she's in the dressage arena. I feel like that's her safe place. Her favorite treat is carrots. That's like the only thing she'll eat. She'll tolerate apples, I guess, but carrots is like the only thing that she shows like a real love for, I guess. She like actually will do something for a carrot, whereas any other treat you have to like put in her mouth and she'll actually eat it. Well, that's my girl squad. It's definitely a interesting mix of horses. A <laughs> um, little bit of this, a little bit of that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed getting to know me and my horses a little bit better. Or maybe not my horses, but my horses a little bit better. And I hope you guys get enjoy seeing them in the future and knowing more a little bit about them. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.